Why, hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Star Set. So last episode we actually managed to get ourselves a ton of new blueprints, equipment, and also took the fight to our enemy. I am now the proud owner of myself, a pristine Nano Forge, Alpha Cores, and also some new blueprints. Now I will say, why hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Star Set and my Commander Let's Play. So last episode there was a bit of a hiccup with the save, it didn't really go off that well, it was a bit corrupted, but... I tried to redo what I did before, so I went back and got the blueprints again, and unlike last time, I found an eagle, which is great, but also I've unlocked the blueprint, everybody, for the Conquest Class Battle Cruiser. <laughs> so we're going to try and build one of those quite soon, but for now though, I'm trying to upgrade my capital ship to an eagle so we have myself some ballistic mounts, I love that kind of thing. So, what are we doing today? Now that I've got myself a bunch of new equipment, we got ourselves a pristine nano forge from Alpha Cores and stuff, I think it's time we look into building a forge world. Now, these are pretty important, right? Because it allows you to manufacture and have a large navy in the game. But there's a problem. There's always a problem, everybody. If I can look at this pristine Anna Forge, you will see that it can be installed on heavy industries and whatnot to build ships. But the problem's going to be is that increases heavy industry production by three points on habitable worlds causes pollution, which will become permanent. That, everybody, sucks. So what are we going to do instead? Well... I'm going to go and get myself another world which I can turn into a shipyard. The problem being though is that most worlds are pretty awful. If they haven't got habitable trait, it means they got like 150% increased cost. It sucks. But there's a there's an answer to this. So the answer everybody is going to be Kantar's Den. A pirate base which happens to already have a lot of what we need. As well as being attacked by an allied nation. Now this wasn't actually part of the plan. I was just going to go and take it over myself. But <laughs> as they're here, perfect days, right? So wait, can I just launch a raid quickly? Okay, we can't get anything crazy. I was hoping they might have more blueprints here, but it's okay. So we're going to go and join the battle. And then afterwards, we're going to actually try and take over this location for our own empire. Uh, everyone, deploy. So with that being said, though, once this has been done, I can now make this into the new base. Okay, I made it to the battle, everybody. Now, this guy is a medium star fortress, and we have our allies helping us out here. Now, this faction is obsessed with beams. <laughs> they kind of love energy weapons. Though I'm personally more of a ballistic man myself, but what can I say? So I don't think it's take us that long to take down, because I've actually deployed a lot of my bombers. You can kind of see there's a bombing run already. It's going to get absolutely destroyed. Let's be honest here. It's not going to survive much longer. The problem's going to probably be, do I have enough? Well, not bombers, uh, marines to actually invade and take over the world afterwards. Because that's always a bit of a, a ball ache, and hopefully we have enough units to take them, that stuff down. Oh, look at that beautiful bombing run. So I like these pirate stations. They've they got a lot of guns on them, right? But most of it is this armor. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, my God, they're trying to shoot Ruba torpedoes at me. Once we get through the armor, though, the guys are pretty easy to take down. Like this, look at this damage. It's racking up. It's amazing. It's like my stock portfolio, if it was going the other way. Now, oh. That was amazing. I love the bombing runs. I kind of wish we had, like, more variety of bombers. There's some really funky ones the Empire has and whatnot. We'll have to see if we can maybe get some better blueprints as the game goes on, but we'll have to find out. Now, I don't think it really matters where I go. It, this station's doomed. It's... Look at this. <laughs> it's completely surrounded in every direction. It's not going to make it at all. Can I just point out my bombers are currently trying to bomb? The support structures. They always do this. <laughs> there used to be like a mod to fix support structures being shot at. That would be a mod I down immediately. Although I guess what I get why they're there though. I guess the stop things being immediately just eviscerated into the ether as soon as the starship battle starts. So I'm trying not to uh, shoot my allies here, but they're trying to take a lot of the space up. I guess we kind of just want to witness and watch the enemy fall down. They've only got two sections left. One of them's not looking very healthy. This one's armor is about to go down, so it won't be much longer here. Wait, can I get into here? Scuzzy, scuzzy, scuzzy. Bag you. Me and my single damage weapon will kill you all. Excellent. Imagine being the last pirate gunner, just watching out the window as there's like 50 to 100 ships barreling down at you, trying to kill you. Beautiful. Good job, everybody. So that place has been dealt with. Now, here comes the moment of truth. Do I have what I need to invade this location? So we have a look right now. Uh, my strength is apparently pretty badass. I got nearly, what, 900 odd strength? We can just do it. We can just do it. So I would say if you want to like make things easy, you can go in and like damage certain things and whatnot. But then that means when you take over the colony, it's cursed. So I'm going to try and go for the approach where we just go in with a lot of guns and kill our enemies. Yes! 
I'm sure. Now, we have four groups. They only require 50 marines and 25 weapons each. I, I decided to say, I presume in like the grand scheme of things, these are powerful because they like have mechs and stuff. That's what I want to see. Like, they come down with like titans. <laughs> they just titan smash the enemy. At least that's what I like to imagine what's going on anyway. So they're going to start fighting in a second. So in terms of, wait, what is this? Auto move already in the game. That's fine. Auto move can deploy. I can automate this entire process. This is the best update I've ever seen in my entire star set to career, everybody. This is beautiful. I hate doing this. This is okay. We'll let them just auto fight. It's amazing. I only going to get myself some more Marines. We have like a bit of money lying around with us at the moment. If we just get like another hundred, it's not a lot, right? But I just want to make sure we have enough to definitely win a few seconds. So if I go back and open the battle again, new Marines done. I'll let them do their own thing. We now have overwhelming odds on the enemy, which is going to be pretty badass. Delta Company, where are your weapons? Disband. Have they deployed yet? Very deployed. Disband. We need more heavy weapon machinery gunners. Oh my god, is this too much? Have I gone off the rails, everybody? <laughs> the power is going to be unbelievable. We'll let them deal with it. Anyway, so now that's going to be automated. I'll let them do their own thing. If we look at our new world, though. It's currently got no governor. It already has inside it some pretty random things. So the first thing I want, reason I wanted this is it has a 100% hazard rating, which is amazing because it means I won't have to pay more up upkeep. Pretty good start. It also has two slots already, industry slots, which is pretty good as well. So I was going to probably delete both light industry and commerce and put down the patrol HQ and the heavy industry in the future. Now, what you're thinking, wait a second. If you've done this, it means you're going to have too much stuff at your homeland. Yes. You're correct. You are correct, everyone. We need to probably delete some of these things, move them around, and make sure we have what we need where we need it instead. Because we can make a lot more money. If we make this into like a super income world, this, this, can, this could pay for everything. This could be a massive income boost if we build some of the other buildings. I am kind of curious if I should build the resort center. But it only generates 30 grand, which isn't really that great. And it costs 10k to upkeep. <laughs> I'm not really certain if that's a good idea. Oh, it comes with a stability bonus, though. Interesting. That is very interesting. What? Oh, it costs... <clears throat> that's, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. No, not can I... I can't even use this anyway, so... Yeah, we'll think we'll, we'll give that one a rest for now. But anyway, so we're switching stuff around. But for that, though, we just delete and get ourselves some more money. Because we're currently a bit strapped on cash. We can't go through and do what we need to do. Haven, as well, is having a bit of problems right now with its stability. Oh, that reminds me. Um, so with this mod set, if like stability is even like three or four, you get all those really bad events that lock it into like negative five for... 10 years it's pretty bad so as soon as this thing gets captured we got to try and get that stability up up and away or we're gonna have like an awful awful time so what i was gonna do i'll wait around here for a little bit and then i'm gonna probably head off and just make some money while i'm waiting because we need to get some cash nearby there's some there's some really basic rust belt bandits nearby as well as some imperial why dominus balance <laughs> that's how is this 200 grand and this it's 208 with a terrible junk ship. I, I I can't fathom how that's even happening right now. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So we might go off and attack them. They're going to be... Where are they? Primary star orange. They're going to be there. Fair enough. But for now, let me just uh, wait until this Katana's Den is captured. Yay! That was quick. <laughs> okay. That, that went pretty well. So there is actually a counter invasion coming. But as I happen to be living next to my allies' military wells, I feel like this is going to be a pretty damn safe to have place to have a good shipyard being built. I'm not going to lie. And also, as we killed some pirates, everyone hates pirates. So it's basically just a good time. Now, of course, this place is going to be glorious eventually. So we're going to delete these first. Yes, I'm sure. I get some of the money back as well, which we can then use to neatly buy other things. Basically, it's it's perfect, guys. It's absolutely perfect. So we get heavy reduction going. And I can't build this some Oh, requires a functioning spaceport. That does seem to add up, if you ask me. So we go for... Let me just think about this for a second. Heavy reduction now. It's 20 grand down. It's going to take a long time to do this, by the way. I think it needs... I don't... Wait, has this worked? I don't know if it can start building right away or it needs to wait until these are fixed. But it's going to take a while, to say the least. We want to probably turn off three ports. How bad is this going to be? Negative three. We want to make sure, as I mentioned earlier, if this thing goes down to I start getting negative events, this thing's going to be lost in a matter of moments. Well, not lost. It'll just be useless for ages and ages. 
So I'm probably going to be a bit cautious here. What we can do... Grand defense increase, ability increase. I got... How many story points do I have? I don't know. 28, sorry, it says right there. <laughs> I'm blind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to do that right away. So what are we on right now? We got... Got like negative one, I think. So if I just go into here, it looks like I got a problem, everybody, with my stability because I currently have too much in terms of carny management. My feeble brain, my smooth human brain cannot figure this out. But it's okay because I have an alpha core. So I'm going to put this on right away. The alpha core is great, right? So it has the same buff I do, which is already perfect. I already get a plus one for losing that penalty. The alpha core, though, is brilliant because it has accessibility, fleet size, ground defense, and stability in its hypercognition mind, everybody. It's playing like 7D chess while also doing your taxes. It's an absolutely amazing thing. So we put that on there as well, and that means we're already on plus one stability, which is perfect. Now, if I was a man that was prepared for everything, I would also have a person which can tell me how bad the rebellion is going on the planet but i'm not one of those people so we're going to, have to try and oh what have i done that was the wrong button everybody i pressed the wrong button so we've got a problem with there's a rebellion going on is it this one yes increases the price of marines heavy armaments and supplies black market sales will strengthen rebels direct sales to base officials will strengthen the government so there's kind of like a big war going on and if we leave this alone, we're probably going to lose it as well. So I'm actually going to, if I go to the, I thought that said something else for a second there, but it doesn't. we will go to the station commander, and I'm going to give them my weapons. All of them. I know this is a bit crazy, guys, but we can get weapons however. I just want to make sure this place is locked down, and it's fine. So they just have a giant strength boost. I presume this will be enough to just smash any rebels that are there. Probably. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> we have to figure it out. But that should mean that they should be protected from enemies coming in to kill everybody. At least I hope so. With that out of the way, though, I think this place is looking pretty good. There is still the problem with stability, though. And I can't do it for another seven days. But I'm actually going to try and just boost this a little bit. Because I have this modifier here. Every unrest. Negative force stability goes down by one point every three months. If I wait that long, that event will spawn and I'll be stuck at negative five. So it's probably worth me spending the money to get rid of this debuff as soon as possible. We have to wait a few days for that though. Anyway, so all out of the way, I think everybody, we are looking pretty decent right now. So I'm going to fly away and I'm going to start getting myself some kills and bounties to build more stuff. Let's get moving, shall we? Now, teleport away. Flippa! beautiful go my friend so what we're gonna do with the rest of the planet then so we currently have haven which is a bit cursed i'm not going to say otherwise it's having issues with stability but that eventually go away i need to probably get rid of some other stuff here as well so we currently have farming which is doing a pretty great job right now it's currently pulling in a ton of money look at all that money beautiful tons and tons of cash but there's other things like this heavy industry which are going to be completely worthless very shortly because we can build something somewhere else. So I'm actually going to get rid of this right away. I'll get a refund. Very nice. And we now have another industry slot as well. So I'm actually going to use that to build. Yeah, so I'm actually going to change stuff around a little bit. So I'm actually going to build light. Uh, I'm actually going to build a light production here. Because it's already a pretty big world. It's going to get those things going. It's also got a bit more protection as well. So it should be a bit easier to defend i'll leave the patrol hq here it's level one doesn't require starting it spawns some backup so it's a pretty handy thing to have nearby so we'll leave those guys there and i'm actually going to go over to haven i'm going to get rid of this one and for now i'm just going to put on oh what do you want to do here do we want to do monoculture or do we want to do maybe something else let's look so we've got rich farmlands bad ore Abundant organic. So maybe eventually we'll have like the mining and rich farm again. But for now, let's just build a farm. This is super cheap to build. We'll take a few days. Bob's your uncle is sorted. So with this out the way, I mean this building taking 20 days, we're also going to put down not a way station yet. I need to try and get the stability up. So we're going to go for the ground defenses. And after that, I'm also going to queue up a high-tech station. So these two things will give us a big boost right away, pretty much. We're going to get plus one stability here, plus one from here. And this is going to be good, guys. It also protects us from enemy harms, all those kind of things. Basically, it's a good idea. <laughs> now, with that set up and ready to go, I feel like this place is going to be pretty, well, easier to defend in the future, to say the least. But for now, though, let's get to our target, shall we? 
the stress call. Am I stupid enough to go there? Because every time I try, it's always a trap. <laughs> like, every single time. Wait, the stress call came from where I already was? No, we haven't got top. Wait. Is that a heavy death world? Wait, whoa, whoa, let's go down here for a second. I think this world has a marker on it. Ooh. I think, have I already been in here? I have. This is what I've looked like, right? There might be some, like, things I missed. Hello? Oh my god, it's actually someone that needs help. Uh, thank, thank the stars you showed up. Uh, our tanker had an accident and we don't have enough fuel left to get back to the core world. You're literally right next to it. <laughs> we need 10 fuel, sir, and we'll gladly pay you 1,500 pounds for it. Interesting, interesting. No need for payment, sir. I'm not one to gouge someone when they're down. Ah, oh, great. Plus two relations with Monday. I love it. Maybe it may never appear. And then I killed them. <laughs> cool, that's out of the way then. Let's keep moving. What is this? A tiny thing. I was actually going to have a sag, because so I thought that was going to be a place I can go and get some more blueprints from, but I guess it is what it is. Defend okay, that's good. I've got to make sure as well, we keep an eye out for any attacks from the adversary forces. If they come in force, we've got to make sure we're there to represent and stop them. Although I just realized, well, I'm kind of flying towards my objective here. We don't really have that much in terms of fuel, so potentially a mistake was made, but I'll figure out when we get there. Okay, let's have a look around. There seems to be something below me. Ooh, light production has been completed. So it's not me making much at the moment. I will point out, by the way, because we're using a mod set, I need to go into, where is it? Citadel, research. It's not a regular building. I need to get this. If I get myself, I think it was two of those magic items, we can then get ourselves regular industries. Which would be pretty cool, because it means they can actually start making stuff such as drugs, which everyone loves drugs. Now, I also need to get this to get some farming as well. So I think currently if I can actually do is build a basic mining industry. That's pretty much it. They all these require those resources I just haven't been able to find much of recently. I guess I've been pretty unlucky there. What is this? A Legion class battle carrier. Shepherd's Fleet. 118% battle difficulty. I thought this was pretty easy to kill. The problem I'm going to say from the start is look at all these frigates. A lot of them are phase ones as well, but I'm not really sure how powerful these belt cruisers are or this big ship. But there's only one way to find out, and that is by attacking the enemy. But they are pirates, so I feel like it would be fine. Pirates aren't normally that scary. There's normally just a lot of them. We have to see how things go. So I'm going to try and grab that sensor jammer first. Actually, I'm going to give you a mission to defend that guy. So the reason I'm doing that is because the sun... That's me. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's not me. That's my eye. Sorry, I'm confused for a second there. We're, we're using identical ships. So I'll keep the sun next to an escort, mostly because the sun is a good ship, but it's a very squishy one. The hammerhead can just go off by itself, though. It's, it's a lot stronger. It's a lot more versatile. But a lot less DPS. So I don't really care about the comm relays because we've already got a bit to call on our entire fleet. Oh, enemy spotted. Fair enough. We'll wait until the battle begins. We'll give it a few. And then I'm going to start spawning in the Mets. Because right now, we're on a timer, right? All the Mets are going to start going down. Like They have like, was it two or three minutes of fighting combat time? Then they need to lose CR or retreat. That's what I'm waiting. We're going to wait until... we just hang out for a little bit. Wait until their CR starts dropping. And then we're called in my Navy. Ooh, oh, this guy's screwed. Beautiful. Also, we could probably kill a lot of them just with our main ships anyway, to be honest. Okay, this guy looks a bit squidgy. I'm going to see if I can take him down. Well, I'm going to get swarmed by frigates, I think. Let's see how things go. Yeah, his shields aren't that great. I reckon we just get a well, few well-placed energy shots, and this guy should be out for the count. Now, my allies are moving forward to engage over there. Let's get rid of that mission, because it's going to distract us from our main goals here. I... Do you know what probably be better? Can I just put a... Cannot control. Task force. This is probably the better way of me doing things. If I want to go and capture it, I'll just assign a guy every time. Because otherwise it just randomly makes my fleet run over there. And there's not really any reason to have like seven ships to kill a single frigate. I'm a bit concerned about that. I'm keeping an eye on the map because if my allies need backup, I can immediately spawn in a ton of mechs. At a moment's notice, they come from the carriers, so we've got to keep that in mind. Retreated. I got retreated. We must have got like injured and retreated or something. Oh. 
Okay, still looking okay. Still looking okay. This guy is taking longer than I thought he was going to take the kill. I'm not going to... I'm taking... Take, I'm going to take damage from this guy, but he's taking a while to kill him for some reason. So, eventually my shots will go through. Oh, wait. I've got the guys with me. Whole breach. Reporting whole breach. Uh, where are you? Why are you off by yourself across the map, you idiot? Okay, deploy the... Deploy the fires. No, he didn't get any. He didn't get any backup. It's rat. I can't... Uh, damn it. <laughs> I can't affect where they spawn in from. That was unlucky. He should have got some backup with like 10, 12 mechs I'd have spawned in, but I guess not today. If you can please try and run away, he might survive. You never know. So now we've got loads of backup. We should be looking pretty powerful right now. I'm going to try and see if we can maybe guard this guy, get him out of there. If you guys can go and escort him, see if you can save his life. But with that amount of frigates, I don't think he's going to make it myself. So we have an enemy over here. We're just going to come in. I'm going to probably ignore him. Oh, Sheon's gone down. I'm not a fan of that shit, by the way. I'd probably replace it with another Heron. Herons are fast. Got some good weapon options. A lot of point defense coverage. I think they're the better option here. Though, of course, a lot of carriers are meant to actually guard. I just don't bother doing that. So that is a mistake of me. But I'd rather have a ship that doesn't need to be guarded. <laughs> Personally. That's my thing, though. It's one of the big ships, right? Nice. Okay, the big one's out for the count already. That's good to see. Can you go and grab that sense gemma, my friend? Go and take that out the way. The frigates on the right hand side are quite numerous, so I feel like that wall's going to have a trouble in a second as well. Uh, let's do a engage command over here. Do you not know? No, we'll leave it because we've got a lot of mechs fighting the big ships right now. If we take that opportunity to take, wipe them out, big ships out of the way, sorted. It's just kind of. Oh my god. We love it. We've also got another wolf as well. Ooh, that nearly got me. I didn't think the shield was going to get there. It's not very much point chasing a wolf, to be honest. They're, they're a bit... Yeah, just going to do that. I'm not going to bother. Let's go for the big ships. Okay, big ships. Well, they've already got the Enforcer. Is this the Belter ship? That's the Belter cruise. This is something else. Up my way. I will kill your masters. No, did you just do a bombing run on the, the phase frigate? <laughs> Damn it, guys. It's fine. Hopefully they won't do that again. Oh, this guy is super squidgy. Yeah, this guy's not going to make it much longer. Okay, that guy's dead. So these ships didn't seem that powerful. It must have been due to the large amount of phase frigates. Oh, that was unfortunate. Nearly all those torpedoes got caught on the shield, but at least the thing's down now. We've got another round. Oh, sword guys! Take it out! Oh, that'll take some damage. This is looking pretty good. Excellent! That was an amazing bomb run. Both sides destroyed like a sandwich. Okay, so looking pretty powerful right now. It's looking pretty decent. Uh, I'm just going to do a change of control. Automate. Someone go and capture those points for us. I think we got this in the bag. Shame we lost that carrier though, but it's not the end of the world. Where do you think you're going? You won't escape me. This guy is like, oh my god, why am I even in this navy at this point? The gremlin. Ooh, could do some damage here. Not enough though, I'm too far away. The damage drop off after you get past maximum range is quite vast. Ooh, that's a, I've seen that weapon before. Okay, so we're going to get to the point where current uh, CR is going to start dropping, but the battle should be over quite shortly anyway. Are we done? Nice. I'll take it. Okay, we'll do a pursuit. Enemy 100% defeated. My guy recovered. I got nearly, probably... I would say I would have broken even, but I did lose that carrier, so we wouldn't have broken even supplies, but it's pretty close. I've leveled up! It's been so long! Okay, what do I want to do for my level ups? I feel like the best opportunity for me to... I'm going to do this. 
Gunnery implants. 100% target leading accuracy for my AI weapons, which I've been missing a lot recently, so it's a good idea. I get more range to all my weapons, less weapon recoil, and increase the damage weapons can take before being disabled. That last one's not really that important. Actually, I think both of them are kind of a bit mediocre. In normally, you get the damage range as the elite, if I remember, but this is definitely a good skill to grab. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Cool, so that has been that sorted. Let's quickly grab the remaining supplies and I think let's have a quick gander inside this lesion shall we oh topography data damn it I was hoping to get something a bit cooler there oh that was not the right button okay so I just quickly reloaded you guys probably know why I'm going to double check here free stability it's already gone up by one it's already deticked once from the rebellion by the looks of it I reckon we can wait I don't think it's going to spawn that negative event quick enough to cause this to be a problem. So we're going to hope it's okay. If we just wait a little bit longer, this will get better and better. And then there won't be any instability and we can save some money. Because of course right now I could do this. But that's going to cost 100 grand each time. It's not worth it. So I think we'll leave that for now. And I am going to probably just have a quick look around. Is there anything of interest here? If not, it's not a big deal. We can just leave and try and find something else to do. Yeah, I don't think this place has got anything going on. Fair enough. There's someone coming. Hello? Travel trailing your fleet. It's got an onslaught in it. Wait a second. What is this? Is this one of those vendetta fleets? I don't think I spawned one. Well, I, I did at one point, but I think the AI killed it. I didn't even go near it. No, it's there. Ah, due to your reputation, a retribution fleet is being prepared and assigned to seek you out and eliminate you if possible. So no matter what I do, this is going to chase me across the universe. So we're going to go get it now. Oh, my, my farm's finished. So we actually can't upgrade this. It's actually not that powerful. <laughs> it's a pretty bad farm. But this place is now making me hardly anything. But at least it's okay, right? It's fine. Oh, this is a pretty cursed location, to be honest. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, let's go for this battle, shall we? So, I'm pretty, pretty confident right now. So... What? <laughs> Damn it, game! Funny if I was doing like a glass cannon ship and just blew up from the rocks coming into the game. Is that going to keep spinning forever? Oh, no! What have we done? <laughs> no one go near it! It's like a mesmer... It's like I'm being hypnotized watching that. It's actually blowing my mind. Can I make it spin faster? Nah, no, let's avoid it for now. Anyway, uh, so I feel like we got a good chance on this one. We're fighting an enemy battleship. Now, I got loads of carriers and stuff. Ooh. Focus fire. All units engage this guy with all your bombers. Let's go for the shield right away. Okay, shield's a bit tanky right now, but I think with the amount of stuff we got, it should be okay. Ah, oh, the first wave did not get through, but the second wave might. Come on. Oh, it's okay though, it's okay. Yeah, so these ships are kind of scary in a fleet, but if I got a bunch of bombers and they got no defenses, it's going to be a pretty bad day for them. Good job, guys, good job. Okay, so there's also Medusa over there as well. Let's go and switch over. I'm coming, buddy. I'm on my... What happened? It's what happens if you look away from your ship. <laughs> you can never look away. <laughs> if you look away for even a second, you're screwed. And your voice breaks while saying so, apparently. It's a curse. It is a curse. Don't mind me, friend. Just going to be swinging around. Don't worry about that. I want a fight strike on the main enemy there. I want all you guys to dedicate your stuff to this fight strike. I'm going to deploy all the carrier stuff now. So we have some backup. And this guy needs to be taken down. This ship is not to be taken lightly. If it gets hits, hits in, it's going to kill everything. Unless we swarm it now. Where are my torpedo bombers? Bring me the torpedoes! I'm trying to defend you, my friend, but you're making it very hard. Oh my god, look at all the... Where, where are the bombers? What are you doing? Get over here! We've only got a short amount of time before it recovers its stuff, guys. We need to go... Yes! Yes! No! Its armor's very tough and none of those hits landed. Oh. Can you stop being a whole tanker? 
Are your name's whole striker, not whole tanker. What are you doing? Let me get in the way again. Yeah, I'm going to keep pushing it from the side here. Uh, get rid of this objective. We do not want to be attached to anything if we can avoid it. Can you go and grab that nav boy? Just because you can. Uh, yeah, but this is fine. This is fine. I'm just pretty, pretty upset about my engine, so... I don't think it's going to be fine. No, you're doing it as well. Stop it. Stop it. No, stay back. Okay, the enemy's going for me. It's fine. We need more boring runs. Oh, it's changed projection. No, 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 no. If you guys fire at the same time, you have a better chance of landing your shots. But you're kind of too spread out at the moment, guys. Come on. Do bombing runs. Not bombing lines. There's a difference there. This guy's a pain. Oh, no, 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 no. Light damage. I'm not surprised. Okay. There we go again. And it, one land, one landed, one landed. That's all we need to see. We got the heavy mauler doing some work over there. Great against the armor. Although it's going to be in trouble in a second. Okay, I'm going to take some time to quickly get rid of some of these little guys. If we get them out of the way, it'll be less to aggro in the later on. No, don't waste the torpedoes on that. Go for the big thing. It's managed to recover a lot of its flux, unfortunately, which is a bit annoying. And it's going to cause havoc for my friends there. Keep your distance, people. Okay, it's so a half HP. Oh, that's a good run. That's a good run. It's spinning around. I don't know why it's spinning, but it's looking pretty good for us. Okay, I'm going to back up. It's going to start hitting someone in a second. Okay, let's get my shields back up now. I might need to go and save one of these to... Oh, be careful. Oh, we disable one of them. Perfect. So I've been shooting, if I can, the front. Oh, if I can disable some of their weapons, it's dead. We got it. Excellent work, everyone. Oh, I'm so happy that was over. That could have been a lot worse. If I actually managed to get the drop on people, it would have been pretty bad. Although we are taking a lot of damage from that fleet, unfortunately. We're, we're not exactly perfect after that battle. Uh, but shoot. Consider ship recovery, grab those, and we have done it. Excellent enemy destroyed. Cool, so I don't get my- oh, I got some panties from that. Ooh. It's just everyone hates them. It's <laughs> everyone hates this faction. It's simple as that. Okay, let's get out of here. So I didn't realize I clicked on that. I was like, what's going on as an event? <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, there's a gate in here. Okay, what we do, we're going to leave. We're going to go and find the gate. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, we're going to come back here. We're going to see if we can, like, ninja some loot away. But first, we need to try and figure out... I'm going to lock this in. We're going to try and figure out if we can save our pirate base thing. I feel like even though there's a good chance my ally will win, if they don't defend my planet, I've lost my new planet. So it's probably... Oh, no, it's a lot of enemy. Wait. I'm free. You can't stop me, sir. I'm out of here. Uh, where am I going? I need to go back here. That's actually quite a trek, isn't it? Okay, let's go through here. Immediately go into hyperspace. Let me go! There's no time! We could lose our planet! Okay, then get over quickly. Save Ming Dad. Wait, is it actually called Ming Dad? <laughs> Ming Dad, no! And then we can go back and do ourselves some exploration of our new place we just found. Oh, dad I. Daddy? Daddy? Okay, let's hope it's not that bad. Oh, Kanye Soap Growth Haven, level 4. There's some kind of battle going on. Is this the pirate invasion? 
Grand Invasion Fleet. Oh, so I could, it would have been fine. But I'm here anyway. Let's take these guys down. Wow, is that their CR? Oh, there's a hole integrity. <laughs> what the hell? How do they save all these ships that have no hole integrity? Oh, they're escaping. Um, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. I like doing this. Watching the enemy as they slowly disappear into the ether. Okay, they've been caught by someone. Uh, let's go in and join the action. We deploy the main fo fa fellas. Are they trying to retreat? Oh, they're retreating. Okay. Uh, everyone deploy left. You guys deploy right. I think we're going to probably not bother with the aircraft. Let's go for this. Aircraft? What am I talking about? The, the carriers. We can keep them out for now. Hunt them down. Leave no pirate undestroyed. Oh man, I was trying to think of a she shanty, a sea shanty I can sing, but I can't think of any right now. Oh. How do they all escape with 10% HP from that last battle? Like even like a little blip will wipe these people out. Hi, friend. Oh, oh my God, it's a lot of missiles being hit me right now. This guy is mostly screwed. Has he not got a shield? Oh no, <laughs> what a bad time to be alive. Nope. Okay, my, my amazing dodging skills got me hit a little bit there, but it's fine. I'm seeing a lot of just death and disables right now, so it's looking pretty good for us. This guy is free looking at me though, so we've got to try and get someone to get some damage in the back. But someone's working on it. The whatever the hell this thing is, <laughs> looks like some kind of like launcher pad from like the moon landing. Are we done here? Perfect. Now hopefully I get some weapons from this. At least that's what I hope so anyway. Yes! Oh, 10. <laughs> I thought I was going to be like 100, not 10. Ah, that's okay. This was pretty good as well because it reduced our carny crisis meter a little bit. Because it's actually kind of high right now. Because we're, we're barreling towards certain whatever this thing is. I'm sure it'll be fine. we just got to make sure whenever this spawns we kill the event. And if we do that, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh! Nice. Okay, invasion has been destroyed. Good to see. So, my next question is going to be... Uh, I have a lot, a lot of junk, right? Let me just get rid of this. Be gone, foul junk. Get out of my sight. I don't want to see you here anymore. We've got a lot of weapons. Tons of weapons. Tons of stuff. Let's just buy a bunch of round grips here. I just want to go back and have a look at that place we were in earlier. It didn't look that big, right? If we just have all the enemy fleets, we can probably grab quite a few things here and there. Okay, how are you doing anyway with your little production? Stability 4. This is... I think we're at the, the park with this one. This one's not a problem anymore. And... Disrupted. Oh! I thought I gave them enough weapons. I mean, I think they should be winning, but that's kind of a shame. The facility was immediately destroyed. Okay, I can't give this an item? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, that's super- Ah, oh, normally I can give it the uh, Nano Forge, but it's too low level. That's a giant pain. Oh well, it's fine. What we could do then... We should start building the Patrol HQ. It's going to take a while anyway, it's going to cost quite a bit of money, but then we can start building stuff later on. This should work out pretty well, I think. Cross Faction Import Stability. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Okay, we'll get that on the right, on the go. Not gonna do that yet. I will put on hazard pay though. People are like, oh dude, you're bankrupt because you got hazard pay on. Guys, it literally costs like five thousand pounds. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's gonna, it's, it's cool people out quickly. Five thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds. <laughs> now this will scale up if you're on like a really cursed world, it costs a lot more, but I'm not. I purposely grabbed worlds that are not hard to colonize. They got very low hazard ratings. It's pretty chill. Anyway, uh, let's move on, shall we? Let's get out of here. Thanks for helping defend my location, friends. How long do they have until I have to come back? Were they not being attacked by, like, the Doom? 28 days until arrival. I reckon we have enough time to go and do some scouting on that new world we found. See what's there. Maybe take some selfies and then we'll come back. Okay, let's go.
It's not actually that far. It's literally just here. In fact, some may say, why did you even bother using the gate? I could have just flown. <laughs> just directly gone there. It would have been pretty simple. Peace in our time. Wait, that's not my alliance. There's more alliances. I forgot. I can actually change the name of alliance, can't I? Wait, let me have a look quickly. It's in the game somewhere. 15 days. Did not say like 27 a second. I'm going to go back. I feel like we're about to get hit by a lot of enemies. Let me just go and... Uh... The timer timers are whack. <laughs> I don't know who... It's like the weather forecast. It's just always wrong. Whatever you're watching on TV, all you know is it's not going to be correct. It's begun. The gra... What the hell? It's just, it's just phase ships. This is probably not a very good matchup for them because my allies got tons of fighters. Okay, let's give this a shot. Why is it just... That's really odd. Okay, so I'm going to try and deploy my main navy. We've got to be a bit careful though. So we deploy all my big ships. I want to make sure we don't deploy the bombers. We want to make sure we deploy these guys with the fighters, right? Yeah, broadsword, perfect. So I'm actually going to be a bit weird. I'm going to try and get guys to follow me. Deploy. Follow me, everybody. We're going to do a defense mission. So as long as we manage to stay on them and they, when they run out of flux, we kill them quickly, it should be fine. But we've got to be careful because if we get flanked, we're going to be in big trouble. So I'm going to try and keep all my guys together. But these guys are going to be super powerful with the fighter swarms. It should work out pretty well. I would have also pointed the bombers, but like I said, it's a bit it's a bit haphazard. I feel like if they fire the torpedoes too soon, they just rephase and it's gone. So we've got to be a bit careful. Now, a lot of these enemies are pretty annoying. They've got ones called the Harbringer, which is the medium size, this one right here. It actually has a thing where it turns your shields off. So it's really annoying for players. Not so much for AI, of course. They just turn back on again. But if you're not paying attention and you lose your shields, big trial. Oh, he's so close. Oh my god, guys, swarm him. This is what I was talking about before. How is he going to get out of this? <laughs> get him. Oh, he took my shield off. See what I mean? How annoying is that? That is a quick way of a player getting killed right there. One down. Two down. That's an ally. That was good. Is that a mine? Oh, don't tell me spawn mines in. This one next. This one's already being surrounded. Keep fighting. We kill as many as we can as they pop him. Oh, I'm like, oh he's going to get away. Oh. oh, he's actually spawning mines around him. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But my bad, buddy. My bad. Oh, what happened to you? These mines are a problem. I guess they're coming from the Doom ships. Let's have a quick look. Are they coming from you? Mine strike. Oh, that's such a pain. Mines are such a bad thing, man. Yeah, it's going down though. It is going down. Yeah, mines are going to probably insupport a lot of people because if they're not, if there's a mine that spawns directly behind the sun and it doesn't move out of the way, it's going to just get wrecked. So far, this is going absolutely. This is going really well. This is going absolutely really, really well at the moment. How many of these ships? They had like um, I can't remember they had now. It was quite a few they had. If they group up and they just spawn like ungodly amount of mines, are we just screwed? Yeah, let's keep the pressure up though. I haven't seen any mines around me. They are spawning near me, but they haven't spawned on me. I'm spending more time looking at my ship than the actual enemy at this point. It's being very cautious about the mines. Oh, I thought I was going to dodge that, but I was really slow in this nebula. I don't think venting is a good idea in this match. We're going to forego venting, I think. We'll keep our stuff together. Okay, this one's coming for me big time. My guys are following me, right? No, I say <laughs> they've gone off by themselves. Fair enough. Uh, let's call in some more backup. I think the mechs would be a good idea. No, actually. I'm going to call in the other destroyers. Uh, the carriers. Because they also come with support missiles and stuff. So they can just have more stuff that's nearby. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I got it. He's going for the face tank. We can kill it now. Go, 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 go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. That's got away with it. 
Okay, I'm staring at myself. Be careful. I, I can't use my shield anymore. It's too risky. I like it. Whoever's shooting black holes is doing a good job there. And dead. Okay, next one. This ship is great for this. This is like made for this job. Ooh, they shot it. That was a close one. Then you got ambush there. Okay, Sticky Flux. We're okay. Nothing to see here. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so far we're destroying a lot of them, which is good to see. Though, my fleet should be a bit more grouped up. They're, they're very spread out, despite what I told them to do, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm a bit concerned about being flanked by these Doom guys. Oh, this one. Okay, let's go for this. We can do it together. No, 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 no. Oh, they are spoiling on me now. Oh, there's another one right behind me. Oh, God. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're also they're doing damage amplifier as well. Oh, God. This is a terrifying mix of units here. Okay, back to where we were. Keep up the damage. Okay, if I can just avoid the mines altogether. Oh, it's oh, it phased into the missile. That was beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna let, let my flux up a little bit. There's a lot more mines now. I think it's because there's multiple at the same place. This is what we need. Look at this giant fighter wing. No, no, go for it. Go. Ah, oh, they could have gone for it. How are we looking on Flux, by the way? Have they started degrading yet? 82%, 85%, 85%. I feel like one of them is degrading for some reason, but the other ones aren't. <gasps> Go, do that, do that, do that, do that. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Fire the missile. Guys, what are you doing? No, no it got me. Damn it. Oh my God, the damage from the thing as well. Oh, I'm so sad. I thought I clutched it. I thought I was like, oh, I've done it by the nick of my teeth. I'm so sad. Sorry. That was going to be like one of my top 10 moments, but it didn't work out. Just like most of my life. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, keep firing. I want to get rid of this flux again. Let me just do this. Okay, I've got to buy myself. My allies are taking the other ones out. Let's try and meet back up with them again. Although we have got all these guys really, really high on flux right now. And eventually they're going to run out of stuff, right? We, we keep shooting them over and over. They're going to get worn down. Especially with these drivers. <laughs> that guy did not do a good job there. Let's call in some mechs. How about that, buddy? They're probably pretty effective against these guys. Well, I'm a bit concerned about the proximity of the mines. Let's see how that works out. Oh, God. Whoa, be careful. It's de definitely doing something. This is working out pretty well. They're oh, look. They're doing, they're doing. Come on. One down. Good stuff. This is looking great. The mechs have done a great job here. I feel like I, it's good that I waited so long. If I kept waiting, if I did it earlier, I reckon they would have had trouble with the mines being spawned on them. But because they've already used a lot of them, it's worked out great. Okay, one more. Is this the last? There's some at the top as well. That went great. Okay. I think I'm far enough away to vent with the flux. My friends are getting attacked a ton by those mines. Eh? They might actually need some backup. I'm, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. How many are they spawning? They must have like a counter. Oh, God. No. You need to get out of there, man. Get out of there. I'll cover you. Retreat, my friend. I'll hold them off. Go. Okay, allies are in. Is this the last dude? We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. Go, everybody! Now, apart from you, you gotta, you gotta go back to your family, my friend. Get out of there. Gank him. Swarm the last doom. 
The sun is way too close. <laughs> Are we done? Have we killed them all? Oh my god. We did it. These are all random... Wait, they're not going to attack us with phase tenders. I don't believe you, game. I'm going to go into the battle by myself. And it's going to despawn them all. I know what happens in these games. It's capping, guys. It's capping. We're not going to get attacked by a bunch of phase tenders. No, no, I, I disagree. Though they haven't retreated yet, so maybe they are going to attack us. Oh, no. they Are they coming in? That's, that's, that's the remains of the enemy u main units. The dooms and stuff. Bring... Come with me, men. Okay, so so far, just the remains of the enemy ships that retreated. So nothing crazy. Though I should be a bit careful with my HP, because of course it's a bit low. Oh! Ah, oh, I just thought I can get like a sneaky kill shot on it there. That guy has no CR, by the way. I'm not sure how he will fly. <laughs> can he even phase right now? I'm not even sure if he can even manage that. Oh, he's, his engine's just turned off. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You want to get out of here? I don't think it's going to work out for you. I think you're doomed. That's right, that one down. Yeah, so I think after we kill these random guys that retreated, the phase centers will probably just not be in the battlefield. I have all my allies with me though, so it should be pretty quick affair. At least I hope so. That was a quick slash. That guy's been watching too many samurai movies. Okay, I want to get to the point where it lets me. No game! Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is the uh, battle bits are a bit of a pain in the ass. Like, why are they forcing an engagement with a single combat ship? It's just not great, guys. I'll just let the game auto run, and I'll come back. I'll go and get some tea. I didn't drink tea, <laughs> but you know what I mean, it's fine. Oh my god, they actually, so I, I, they kept coming back over and over again, and they've actually now deployed with their face tenders. Okay, everyone come in. Yeah, so the first time I skipped it right, and there was like one dude left alive, and then it spawned again. And I was like, oh, god damn it. I've been, it's been like five minutes, I'm like, guys, just let me finish this damn battle. It's already, they've already been killed, just let it be over, please. Okay, a lot of my guys are currently maybe malfunctioning, which should be a bit sad, but we'll see how things go. Uh, what is... They, have they changed my build? He turned off... Auto fire on my weapons, how dare he. That is a lot of phase tenders. But this should work out pretty well. I don't think having bombers would work, because they're just going to teleport away, but it's a lot of units, it should be fine. You guys haven't got any special abilities, have they? Above and phasing. They're not even phasing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there you go. Oh, they have not got a lot of capacity. This should be quick. Why, hello there. Okay, I got the most of them there. A few of them did escape, though, unfortunately. My units can barely even spawn anymore. <laughs> They're totally cursed. 100% kills. There you go. We lost one dude out of that entire battle. Seven weapons. Nah, man. I just took down, like, ten phased transport ships. I refuse to believe that's what's happened here. Look at all these purse PD. That's pretty handy. I got a big bounty from that. Well, actually, it wasn't that big. <laughs> Maybe feel like it was big. Let me grab you up. Oh, I can't believe they had hardly any weapons there. That's pretty sad. So that was the first phase of the invasion done. However, though, that is going to be it for today's episode, everybody. So I hope that everyone has enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you next time. Bye.